Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use OpenSSL to play with cryptographic primitives, including AES, RSA, Diffie-Hellman, in the lectures we have so learned so far. And for OpenSSL itself, it's an open source software. You can easily find it and download it from the internet. And in many Unix-like operating systems, um, OpenSSL is uh, by default built in. In here, I use my Mac to show this uh, uh, demonstration. Then in Mac, you can use OpenSSL within Terminal. For some of you who don't know where Terminal, how to open up Terminal then you can turn to the spotlight. That's uh, the easiest way. And with this spotlight search, then you just need to type in the first letters and then you will be popped out the applications you are looking for. And then we have this terminal page. Uh, in within this terminal interface, uh, first I will keep the full screen. And uh, normally uh, you have some extra information that uh, we can skip this. And it's a little bit distracting, so I want to uh, clean this. So in terminal, you can use a command called clear to clean up the screen. Now we are here. And uh, in Open, OpenSSL, uh, is pre-installed in macOS and I have upgraded to the latest version. And if I type OpenSSL, and if it's already installed in the system, it will uh, pop up this uh, command uh, input for you to, to type in what you, you are gonna do with OpenSSL. First, let's take a quick look at uh, uh, the commands in OpenSSL. So I type hi, help. Then it gives out some typical commands that you can use with OpenSSL. Uh, they divide into different categories. The first category is a standard commands like encryption, decryption, and uh, um, public key generation and generate certificates or public keys, so on and so forth. There are quite a lot of these uh, specific commands. And also we have this message digest uh, commands. Uh, if you remember the message digest, that's uh, referring to hash functions. And here we have several hash functions can in, that has already been implemented in OpenSSL and MD5, and SHA1, and then SHA, this SHA2 with this three different hash size. And in fact, in some latest OpenSSL, we can also have SHA3 in the message digest commands. And here it gives you the information about what are the algorithms uh, that can be used uh, for uh, with OpenSSL. You see uh, something that you have learned, AES. And the AES 128, this it means the key size is 128. And then this, uh, this one, it means it's, uh, its key size is 256 bits. And also you can find this 192, that's uh, the key size of, uh, of the cipher you want to use. And follow that, we, you can find another information, this CPC and uh, this ECB. And these two modes is what I have described before as modes of operation of block ciphers. And in a previous uh, recording, I have uh, uh, take the load 
of CBC and ECB to compare them. And also you can find the, the difference of these modes in Wikipedia page. You just search for modes of operations, block ciphers, then you will find different modes of operations in Wikipedia. There are many other uh, ciphers that can be used. And before we go into the uh, encryption uh, digital signature demonstration, I need to first uh, uh, exp uh, explain some basic uh, operations we will use and uh, uh, to make it clearer to you. And uh, here we, uh, by using, by type using control C, then we can quit um, the OpenSSL environment. And now we are in the terminal environment. And we can use OpenSSL directly with uh, uh, some options like ink, this, uh, this is uh, uh, either encryption or encode command. And uh, because we, in the most of the uh, primitives, its output will be cipher text, uh, will be binary strings. And these binary strings sometimes cannot be properly printed in the screen. And to have a better demonstration, and I will use uh, an encoding method called base64. Base64, this encoding method. And uh, uh, this method will take the input and output um, a string with uh, lowercase letters, capital case letters, um, 10 digits, and uh, two extra symbols. So in total, there are 64 symbols in the alphabetic of base64 encoding. And all of them are printable. So then we can show the output of our ciphertext or of our signature. Of course, we can save these uh, signatures or ciphertext in, uh, in a file, but still for binary strings, some of them cannot be easily uh, printed. And we started with uh, a very simple example to show you the basic uh, argument or operations of uh, OpenSSL. And uh, for this command, so we have three parts. Um, the first part, uh, input, what we want to uh, either encrypt or decrypt or sign. So that's the input part. And uh, then we need to consider the operation part. That's uh, do we use OpenSSL for encryption or do we use OpenSSL for decryption? or for signing or for verification. And uh, for each of these operations, there are some options. This options specifies which of the algorithms uh, this operation will use and some extra information. So these options uh, include the algorithms to be used and also the parameters to be used in this operation. And after that, after we enter, press enter, then we will get the output. So let, now let's take an example here. If we want to uh, encode some message with base64 encoding, then suppose the message is welcome to open SSL demo. And this is input, and we want to uh, operate this input and that gives out the encoding of for this message. 
and operation is open SL and base 64. This is oper operation part and the option part is whether we want to encode it or whether we want to decode it. So in this case, we want to encode it. So we provide the parameter dash E, which in, uh, indicates it's an encoding process. And this is uh, how we can, uh, these three parts, and to make it simpler with, within this command, so I need to pipe this input, welcome to open SSO demo to this operation. So if I directly write like this, it won't work. And how can I make it work? And I use a command, echo. This command is uh, used to print out something and uh, the output in general will be printed to the screen. It, like if I direct use this echo, welcome to open to open SS demo, then I get this output printed in the screen. And here, I don't want to put in a screen. Instead, I want to put into uh, OpenSS of base64, this operation. Then I use this symbol, which is called piping. And I pipe this uh, uh, output to another uh, command. So OpenSL base64. E. So this command means for the first one, that's uh, the output of this command will be the input of this command with this uh, pipeline symbol in place. And then let's see the output. So this is output. So this is the encoded message for welcome to open SSL demo. And how can we find the original message of this uh, uh, encode, encoded message? Then we use a similar idea. So we have open SSL base 64. This is the operation, but here we need to specify the option is decoding instead of encoding. So we use dash D here. This is an operation and uh, this is our input. So this is our input. And for this input, we cannot directly write as uh, it now. Instead, we need to use echo again. And what we do is we pipe this uh, the echo output to OpenSSL, this command, this operation. So if we look at this uh, operation and the output of this uh, echo command will be the input of this OpenSSL command. And then we uh, press enter. Okay, we get this uh, original message. Welcome to OpenSSL demo. And this is a very simple example of using OpenSSL to encode some message. If we have a large file, we can use it as well. And uh, uh, this is not encryption. This is just the encoding process. And uh, with uh, the knowledge of base64, that everyone 
can decode this message here. So that's uh, the uh, simple demo of using OpenSSL for base 64.